Welcome to the unveiling of the Noctua NHD14 CPU fan. The reason that it is the unveiling instead of the unboxing is because I have taken the CPU cooler out of the box uh, just because it is more convenient for to make this video um, just for the sheer size of the CPU fan. Okay, so just to give you a comparison, um, I'll grab one of my uh, phones here. So this is the iPhone 4 in terms of the width. Okay, so it's fairly chunky, fairly fat and chunky. Okay, in terms of width, both ways, uh, height as well. I mean, it's got two of everything: two fans, two radiators, um, six heat, six heat pipes, uh, dual radiator design. What else can you ask for? Okay, it's got one of. It's got two of the best fans that Noctua has ever produced. Um, it's got a symmetrical compatibility for uh, the uh, some of the memories out there in, in the market today. It's got uh, comp component cooling design to maximize the, the airflow between to and from the radiators. Um, it's... look... To start, I think to 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 start things off, um, I may begin with why I chose this um, this uh, this CPU cooler uh, ahead of um, the other CPU coolers today. It's basically it will meet my requirements in terms of what I need to get out of my system, what uh, what I want my system to be um, to be all about. Basically, um, it is. In, in my opinion, it is the best CPU cooler out there in the market today without without having to go full-blown water cooling, which which in most cases is a bit overboard, to be honest with you. And also, uh, in this system alone, um, I don't really want to have the, um, the requirements or the maintenance schedule of draining my coolant every three or six months or every nine months it really doesn't matter what I want this system to be is reliable um, it doesn't leak obviously so and it's um, it's it can be as efficiently as efficient as possible uh, by the, by the by design okay one of the great things about this cooler again is um, you know without naming names there are other um, similar design cooler in the market today with dual radiators dual fans and similar heat pipes heat pipe design I'm just gonna uh, turn this around so you can see the heat pipes here while I'm talking but having used, uh, I mean, continue, continuing on my point, having used the Noctua cooler in the past, um, it's, it's very, very well made, okay, so, and, uh, and the fans are very, very quiet, um, it's one of the best fans out there, it's been proven so many times, um, out there in the market, so, and it's, it's it's look just the design the in attention to detail on this cooler is amazing okay so it's um if you if you have a chance to have a look at this in the in the nearby store do it because this will blow your mind okay so um just the welding just the welding uh finish on this cooler is just amazing Okay, and the uh, and the radiator radiator design also it's it's not it's not as simple as making um, um, making everything the same. It's not. I mean, Noctua has designed this cooler to be as efficient and as effective as possible. Okay, it's not about having two similar fans they've chosen two different fans 
for this CPU cooler for good reasons. Okay, so having said that, um, let's let's uh, let's see what's in the box. Okay, so, um, I mean, one of the great things also uh, about this cooler is even though I've purchased this cooler specifically for this project. Um, for those of you that may change um, uh, systems, uh, you know, from chip from one chip to another, this CPU cooler is uh, basically compatible with a lot of CPUs out there. Okay, namely the LGA 1366, 1156, obviously the 1155 IV Bridge, um, and the uh, 775. It's also compatible uh, with the AMD um, just by just by uh, using a different bracket, okay? Um, and it's compatible with AM2, AM2 Plus, and AM3, okay? Um, I mean the the backplate itself is the same, so it's keeping it simple. Uh, it may save you a lot of money in the long run. Uh, it really depends on the application, okay? But hopefully, um, you know, uh, I mean, I've seen a lot of people uh, buying a CPU cooler uh, for their system initially, but having to replace it with another or, or, or a more effective CPU cooler, which means wasting money, buying another, uh, you know, buying another set of CPU cooler, even though you can sell the first one, it just means that you will lose money. Um, the best thing of of getting getting the getting uh, a CPU cooler that you can that you can afford getting the best one is is about saving money in the long term because as we all know um, you know building building a PC or modding a PC is very very addictive um, it's much better. Uh, to use the money in 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 getting a new getting a or re replacing the main hard drive from a, a mechanical to an SSD for instance okay because you will see more advantage as opposed to uh, you know going through different coolers for CPUs just because you didn't buy the right one in the first place anyway um, look this is I mean it's this fan is essentially is a very high performance fan. Um, although the Noctua fans are very very quiet uh, in today's uh, in today's standard, Noctua also supplies you with um, with a with a ultra low noise adapter for your for your motherboards. Okay, so what it means is it will it will supply a low a lower voltage um, to these fans so it won't make as much noise as uh, as the normal uh, connectors uh, what it will also provide is with with um, with most fans including the uh, including the the intel cpus or the uh, the factory cpus it it provides a thermal compound but the great thing about this is it comes with the with a uh, one of the most famous compound in the market today. The N, um, what is it? Uh, the N NTH1 Noctu by Noctua. Okay, I reckon I think it's one of the top three compounds out there in the market, um, which ultimately uh, will save you money because you don't need to buy thermal compounds or um buy another one even though it's even though this one will last you will last you about two or three applications um but again it's all about saving money these days okay buying buying the right buying the right buying the right cpu or buying the right components uh from memory hard drives just just do it right the first time so you don't have to spend your money and your time uh, in upgrading your PCs uh, again just because you didn't um, you didn't do enough research in the first place or um, or you couldn't uh, find the right CPU and you just you just bought um, 
a CPU cooler just because you have to and you don't have any, any other choice okay so what it means is um, the, the, the application itself on the CPU it, it, it can either go horizontal or vertical okay which is which is very very useful in uh, especially these days you have a you have a reference card which takes up to three slots okay which means that it will literally it will literally come as close as as as, as my phone here um, on the right hand side okay if you have it if you have it uh, like this uh, and you can't really adjust the um, the installation or the whether it's vertical or horizontal I don't think um, it will blow or it will suck hot air to or from straight to the to, to your reference card which is not ideal okay and I th and again in buying or building your PC, you have to think about those um, those areas. Okay. Um, what else? I've, I've spoken to you about the backplate, the orientation of the CPUs. Um, okay. Um, what else? What else? Okay, and I've I've spoken about the uh, compatibility with AMD and the Intel um, CPU so what I will do is uh, again I will show you the cooler in a much much closer or close up it's very very well designed I mean they've put a lot of time in designing or making this uh, CPU cooler uh, for us to enjoy and what I will do again, as always, is after I uh, show you these videos, um, I will post an, I will make another video of every components that I've that I have um, for my build, and just put the put the benchmarks or put the scores that I have from my system. So at least at least if you if you have similar components as I have one or two maybe three or four not all um, it, it will provide uh, a better I guess uh, yardstick to compare your system against mine or you know maybe may, may you know maybe my systems will fare worse than uh, some of you experts out there but who knows um, but I'm not by all um, in saying that I'm not an expert in um, in building PCs nor I claim to be an expert um, but what I will tell you is that uh, that the last time I built a PC was a very 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 long time ago okay so it, it's about maybe three or four years and since then I've never had the need to build another PC or nor do I want to build another PC because of so many reasons such as uh, I've always been supplied with a work laptop or my machine or my build at the time has been sufficient for me to play games um, use my applic use the applications that I want to use and so on and so forth so uh, I mean these days again is uh, I think components are made better um, uh, especially in terms of motherboards memory you know it's just having having had a look had had a close look of the motherboards out there today it's just the quality is just insane okay and it's 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 never been a better time to either upgrade your system or build a completely new system but you know that's just my opinion um anyway that's it for tonight i'm I'm a, I'm a little bit tired um, from you know having just finished work today hopefully um, I'll be able to make more videos uh, either tomorrow or the next day cheers guys